What is going on in YouTube land? Welcome to another comment and T claim sale. Say hello to everybody, Jacob. Hello. Say hello, everybody, Mike. Hello. All right, let me pan the camera up so I can get in here since I'm a little bit tall, so I can say hello to you all. Not for real. Can you see me? No, I'm good. I can see you. Can you see me, Jacob? Uh, yes. Shout out to uh, Aegis Comic Shop in Alaska for this awesome shirt. And look at this, yo. You can get yourself, what are these called? A gator? A gate? Or whatever. It's one oh, of those I always think of grifter. You can make a bandana out of it, a headscarf out of it. You can do whatever. My, Our friends at the Geeky Swag Shop are making these Lords of Longbox ones. You can make come in blue and black. So, patient, I think it's like $25 ship, so he's not really making much money with it. But if you need any head covering, that's what you need to go and get right there. All right, so let me adjust the camera before we get started. Shout out to King of the Golden State, who is the lone moderator. Oh, uh, good luck there, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody will join it. All uh, right. Mail is at the door, too, if you want to maybe uh, just at least unlock it. Oh, yeah. Let me get an optimal camera. I'll probably zoom in even closer this time. People get a better look at them. Thank you all for joining. Go ahead. Again, Give this up. is a... Uh, a lot of X-Men product in this one, so I hope you guys like your mutants. Hope everyone's uh, that got what they've you know claimed in the previous ones have enjoyed it and read it. Have you, uh, first, do you want to do any uh, maintenance from last time? Can you guys hear us okay? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go over this twice. Once right now, and then once in the middle, I guess. So we have a couple people that we weren't able to get contact with or haven't gotten in contact with us. This was from two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, this is Anthony Rogers. I think this also went with it, actually. So Anthony Rogers, just uh, try not to give it away, but these two, Anthony Rogers, if you're watching, okay. please hit up the big to-do. Or let us know in this one, because if not, we're going to put them up at, at the end. I think this one was Sueño. Sueño's Gradable was the name on this one. And actually, I gave people till Friday, so I don't know if you want to put these back up today or you want to hold on to okay, them. Okay, we can hold on. But that is two weeks old. All right. So, And this one was Gare Bear. Had a lot of uh, demon books. And one Spidey. And one Spidey, Gare Bear, G A A R B E R. And lastly, this person here. And uh, Vic Cunanan. This awesome. Hell, if you don't take it, I'll take it. Damn. So that's it. Now, everyone else has uh, you know, been invoiced and shipped and all set. These are just a few that we don't have contact info on. Okay. So whenever we're ready, we can I can walk you through this stuff. Let me adjust. For you got it. Glare. All right, these are the rules. Are this is a claim sale. So, um, when you uh, after I type in go, you will claim the letter that you want. Type in the word claim and the letter that you want. If there's multiple lots, only one claim per lot. Uh, if uh, sometimes we have lots where there's five of each, then we'll we'll tell you if there's multiple claims or not. Um, please. If you're new, which I don't think many of you are, uh, if you've claimed something, please leave your email address so we have it on file so we don't have to hunt you down after the fact because it's really hard to find somebody's email address on YouTube. Tell them about top chat, live chat. Oh, chat, live oh chat. yes. The most important thing of all is make sure you have live chat enabled. And I don't know if the phone really does it justice, but... <clears throat> if you are on your phone, make sure it says live chat. If you click on these three little lines right here, it actually asks you, do you want top chat or live chat? Make sure you select live chat. If you have top chat enabled, your comment will appear at the very top. So it looks like you've won every claim. Your internet is not that fast. Trust me. Um, also, in if you're using a browser or on your desktop or what have you, do, it's the same thing. Click at the very top. There's a little arrow down. It says live chat. Make sure it says live chat. Um, let me ask you this. Would you refresh your browser? Or if you come in and out, close out and come back in, 
It defaults back to top chat. That's very important to remember. So make sure you have live chat enabled. Shout out to Nemesis Prime is in the house now. Hello. All right, Mikey. Okay. Uh, we got 77 uh, deplorables, degradables, and troglodytes watching. So let's get right to it. All right. So, uh, like, if you followed us on uh, Instagram and stuff, you know that this sale has got a lot of uh, X Men product in it. Uh, it does have other stuff as well, but if it's definitely mutant based. Um, in the first round here, in slot A, it's Daredevil number 150. Ooh. We have four copies. No, no, I lied. We have five copies of this, and this is the first appearance of the Paladin. Paladin. So my thought process on this was like, when the Silver Sable slash Black Cat stuff does start to air, Paladin is a Silver Sable supporting character. He is in the Wild Pack with Silver Sable, so it's a cheap Bronze Age first appearance. Okay? This also, just because I like things themed, has the Paladin in it. It is a set of Assassination Pilot. It is six issues long. It is all McFarlane. Oh, that one's nice. I like that one. So it's 320 through 325. Six issues. The, the Daredevil here, I'm sorry, that's $7. Oh, we'll leave the lights. That's fine. Okay. $7. This is $30. How Get many you. copies of A again? Uh, a is five copies. Five copies of A. Three copies of B. Three copies of B. And that's $30. We have one copy of C. This is 10 Nights of the Beast. It has the Mike Zek covers on it. Uh, first appearance of KG Beast. And then over here is X-Men. Oh, that's $20. We have 168. Uh, it's one of my favorite Paul Smith covers. We have four copies of it. It's $8. This is the first appearance of Madeline Pryor. If you're not aware of who that is, when Jean Grey dies and eventually a lookalike comes into Cyclops's life. That's Madeline Pryor, who eventually becomes the Goblin Queen. So Every, that's, uh, okay. What's the price on A? A is seven. Seven dollars, guys. I'm not gonna go over the grades of each single one of them because assume everything is VF near mint. Okay. If if we have something that has a noticeable defect, something that we need to point out, we will make sure to point it out. Other or that, if, if it's a higher price book, I will I will do my best to unprofessionally give you a grade on it. And bring it close to the camera, things like that. For the most part, I don't like to bring things into the auction or the live claim that I think people will have a problem with. I, I want to make sure they're acceptable copies, so we try to shy away from that. I, you know, Knock on wood, so far we haven't had any error, but I mean, we are human. If something happens, just reach out to us, you know. Yeah, for the most part, these are all high, higher grade. I mean, uh, very, very, I mean, some of the older books will show, like Bronze Age, there'll be some, but I, as people have watched in the past, I typically will try to show you or at least give you my uh, my opinion on what grade they are. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. No, no, we definitely have books that we will talk about and bring forward, but for this stuff, I wouldn't pick something that is all beat up, you know. <laughs> This here is a uh, Wolverine Kitty Prize set, six issues. It's the sequel to the Wolverine um, Frank Miller Claremont run where he goes to Japan. This time Kitty Pride goes to Japan and Wolverine has to track her down. So if you've read this, the four issue one, this is a good six issue one. It's $10. We have one set. So I think we got a lot of very enjoyable reads and some good grabs. So I, I'm done talking about this. I'll walk, let's say the prices again. <clears throat> $7, five of them available. A thirty dollars, three of them available. Twenty dollars, just the one. Eight dollars, four of them, and ten dollars, just the one. Okay, all right. And Have fun, as, you guys. And as soon as I type in "go," claim the letter that you want. You get to look at my mid. If, if you do thing. claim, <laughs> if you do claim Lucky too man. early, you will be timed out. Sorry about that. That's just the only way we can control this mad mass of humanity. If you guys want TiVo to sign any of these for you, just let us know. That's right. All right. Oh my God, that was quick. That was fast. Yay! People like comics. <laughs> uh, Eric S. Heard D. Joe Shimitsu A. Marcelo D. Efren A. Breezy Ballistic C. Uh, Bolo 368 D. Meeple Mothership D. That's all the D's. All the D's are gone. Natalie Ho got a B. 
I thought you might, Natalie. It does have Spider-Man. She true. also you got one of those X-Men sets, right? The Art Adams one? The little two shot? Yeah, she did, I think. I so want you to tell me what you thought about is that. Gone. Glenn, uh, Wayne Hare got A. Body Boy Entertainment got A. Boston Chris got A. It's all the A's. Okay. A's are out. A's are out. I got some B's and an E. Let me see. Only B's and E. Uh, Terry Vaughn got a B. Okay. Tyler Roenick, I don't even think you won, Tyler, so I don't know what he's saying. He Can I have a newsstand? Um, if you win first and you claim newsstand, you can. If there is such a thing. Yeah, so uh, James Watson claimed to be. That is B gone now as well? B is gone. All right, B is gone. B is now gone, yeah, after James Watson. Bola yeah. says he'll claim E if nobody else claims. That is fine. One. Let's do that and move on. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, everybody. I like those quick... Easy rounds. Okay. So, uh, Chad, I don't even see you as having claimed anything. So make sure you're in top chat, dude. I mean, live chat. Live not chat. Chat. Oh, Chad, nobody saw your claim. Okay. So here, I'm not going to repeat this one. I'm, make sure you have live chat enabled, please. I don't know if you're new, select live chat. If you refresh, it defaults back to top chat. Make sure you have live chat enabled. If you're on your phone, even though it says live chat, it has top chat there as well. Make sure you say live chat, not top chat. If you send me a screenshot claiming that you won, go ahead, and I'll show that it says top chat. I've been doing this four weeks, guys. I think it's our sixth one, actually. Six weeks. I don't know. I have no concept of time or space anymore. Okay. This is all X-Men. Uh -oh. Here we go. So this one, we've got X-Men 232 through 234. Uh, am I in camera, though? Uh, here, I'll do it. Hold on. Let me get to the right one here. Oh, okay. that's gorgeous. It's, it's a brood set, a three-issue brood set done by... Mark Silvestri. So if and you like those alien brood that I like them, this is a, a fun read. And if you don't win, try not to brood <laughs> over it. This is like they, they first appeared in X-Men 166. And this is the, the next go around with these guys. So they're pretty awesome. We actually have six sets of that available. It's $15. If you want to throw that in with it? <laughs> <laughs> here, let me borrow him. He's a prop here. <laughs> That's okay. the brood. And oh, Jim Lee goodness. Got a Jim Lee X-Men one, the fold-out cover. We have seven of them at $7. Uh, going for more Jim Lee here. We have two seventy-five. dollars probably one of my favorite ones from Jim Lee. It is a gatefold, folds out to three covers in one. Um, it's X-Men versus the Shi'ar. It is, uh, we have six. Shi'ar, I barely knew her. Six available, it's $5. 276 Still the Shi'ar battle. We have five available. Is that right? Yeah, five. And and 277. You got a Wolverine Gambit battle there. Still continuing the story arc. Six of those available. I feel like I'm your fluffer. Thank you. So <laughs> we got a brood story arc. It's three issues in there. It's $15. $7 for the gate fold. So four fold out, Jim Lee. $5 for the three fold out, Jim Lee. Five dollars, five dollars, and uh, six of them, seven of them, six of them, five of them. No, nope, six of them, right? Six of them, six of them. You're Whatever. killing me. Let's just go. You're killing me, Larry. Whenever you have these multiples, it takes us forever to do the math on this. Well, it's just there's no point doing a five dollar book. You got to do a bunch. Uh, of a, I believe, is seven dollars by you, boy entertainment. It's fifteen dollars. Oh, so, I'm so off. Yeah, fifteen dollars. But how many books in it? It's three. It's three books, so uh, fifteen dollars. So it ends up being five dollars. The next round will be easier. I try to go like one complicated round, one easy round. <laughs> and as soon as I type in glow or go, excuse me. Was I saying that one time? Yeah. Go ahead and claim the letter that you want. You know what? The video quality is much better, too. I think we got the perfect lighting, finally.
Jimitsu claims uh, Joe Shimitsu claims A. Moonbase Alpha claims B. Breezy Ballistic, Marcelo and Bayou Boy Entertainment, Natalie Hill all claim A. How many A's so, did you have? Uh, six. So that you got, was it a total of four just got claimed? I think more than that. Hold on. Um, Joe Shimitsu claimed to A. Mm -hmm. Breezy Ballistic claimed to A. Mm -hmm. Marcelo mm -hmm. claimed an A. Mm -hmm. Bayou Boy Entertainment claimed an A. Okay. And, and Natalie Hill claimed an A. Okay, still have one more A. Efren uh, Feliciano got the A. So A's are off the board. Wow, you guys are got some good taste. Moonbase Alpha claimed to B. Got that. Okay. Uh, Bandito 1077 claimed C. Gabe Sasso claimed to B as in boy. Ken Shin claimed to C. William Schaefer, I am William, claimed B. <laughs> I love William's claims. <laughs> he doesn't give a, he does not care. He's just like, I'm going to take my time and type this out properly. <laughs> it's all phonetically correct. Yeah. Daniel B. Uh, sorry, Daniel A's are gone. David Pescada mm -hmm. claimed C. Astro Walker claimed E. Azorius Tiger claimed C. Azorius Tiger. Uh, you can do multiple claim now, guys. Yep, we're good. Yeah, uh, Azorius Tiger also claimed a D as in David. Ken Shin claimed an E. Moonbase Alpha took a C. Uh, Nicholas Pickle has a B as well. Nicholas okay. Pickle mm -hmm. got a B. He paid us a nice compliment earlier, too. Uh, what was that? Moonbase Alpha, Moon Alpha claimed to C. Uh, Natalie Hill wants a B. Uh, yeah, Natalie Hill wants a B. Okay. Daniel B claims a C. Did you already have Daniel B? Uh, no, that's all of them. Uh, so C's are gone now? After Daniel B, C is gone. Okay, after Daniel B, Daniel B claimed the last C. Front, Marcelo claimed a D. These are beautiful books. Jim Lee, my favorite. Uh, Azorus Tiger claimed an E. Uh, looks like uh, David Pescada claimed the B. There's still one B left. Uh, we have one B, four Ds. Marcelo claims an E. And two E's. Astro Walker claims C and D. We will allow that since it's, uh, you know, they're uh, multiple. C is gone. But oh, sorry, Astro Walker. We'll C make a gone. note and try to get you one, but I don't know if we have any. Yeah. But I'll get you the D. Yeah. Uh, Astro Walker works with uh, Terry. From Terry's Comics or whatever. Uh, Boston Chris has an E. Okay. So B is gone? No. We have okay. a B. Two Ds, one E. I think Logan Torres got the last B. Okay. And so we have what? Just D and E left? D and E. Uh, Boston Chris got an E. And Natalie Ho got a D. Okay, all we have is two Ds, if anyone wants D. Uh, two Ds. You got Natalie Ho for a D, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So Daniel B and Efren. Uh, Daniel B and Efren Feliciano claim Ds. Oh, so they're gone? Yeah, there's only two left, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, they're all gone. Thank all you, right. everybody. There should be one east, all right? I thought that was Logan Torres. Logan yeah, Logan Torres. Claimed a B. He claimed the last B. I'll just scroll up and look. So what letter are we looking at? E. All right, I'll go over all the E's. Hold on, everybody. If you can, let's see. E, E, E. So I have Astro Walker for an E. I have Kinshin for an E. I have Azores Tiger for an E. Marcelo Francamore for an E. Boston Chris for an E. Breezy Ballistic for an E. Okay, there you go. That's it. All right, and that was it. Good job, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for my band, Sex with Tablet. All right, who wants some X Men now? That boy's good. <laughs> Ooh, that boy's good. That boy's real good. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling people are going to already pre-type in, like, claim A with their finger on the button. Oh. Uh-oh. You want to show them? Because these probably all need to be shown. Yeah, this is um, 
this is probably a uh, VF to VF minus. Here's the back. Oh, I, wrote, I wrote a note here. Uh, spine, spine color breaks. Okay. Spine, spine color breaks, you can see kind of along the spine there. There's one, two, there's quite a few. So this is definitely, a, let's say like a, a 6.5, 7.0, right around there. Still a sought after book. Yeah, this book shot up drastically. On um, this Dazzler one, I, I noted there's like a thing. There's a thing? Looks like a... Yeah, this is another VF minus book. It's got a... Uh, I don't know. It's like an asterisk. An mm -hmm. asterisk that's bleated ink or something? I don't know what it is. Yeah. But first Dazzler. So we got first Kitty Pride, first Dazzler, White Queen. Ooh, John Byrne, goodness. This is actually a pretty good copy, I would say. Uh, right around 8.0. Days of Future Past. Oh, this one's clean. This is a, uh, pushing 8.5, 9.0. We got a really nice, clean first, Mr. Sinister. Oh, boy. And it's a UPC coach. Yeah, newsstand, and I can only find one little ding. It's probably pretty gradable. Yeah, that breaks color here, but otherwise than that, it's a pretty gorgeous copy. So the price breakdown, we have $65 for Kitty Pride, $40 for Dazzler, $25 for the White Queen, a big blur, but I think it's twenty-five dollars for uh, X Men one forty-two, and what does that say? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five for Mister Sinister. All right, prices one more time. Sixty-five. Uh, you know I can do it. Okay. Sixty-five. Because I was like, hey, I can read the prices. Sixty-five. Forty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Only one of each. Yep. Made it easy. Made it easy. So get those fingers of typing as soon as I type in go. Claim the letter that you want. Only one letter per round for this one, guys. Uh, somebody said, give me the issue numbers. Okay. Yeah, it's 129, 129, 130, 131, 142, and 221. Bunch of first appearances in there. Yeah, Pretty much everyone's the first appearance except this. They went on a little streak there, huh? Introducing the grade for A again. It's about a, I'm going to say fine plus to a VF minus. It's got some, uh, it's got uh, the only issue that it really has is a lot of these small little uh, uh, spine ticks that break color. So as I type in go, have at it. X Men are hot right now. As soon as I type in go, you can type in the word claim and the letter that you want. And we are off to the races. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was fast. Dimitri Theodorus, Th Theodoratus, got a C. Something like that. Gamma Comics Collectible got an A. Marcelo got E. Cryptic Comics got a B as in boy. Daniel B got a C. Nope. I believe that. No, there was C was already claimed. I oh, was it? Unless I yeah. heard the wrong letter. C was claimed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, C was claimed second. Yeah. Polo 36A got C. I have a D. Logan Torres. Yeah, Logan Torres got the D. Congratulations, guys. All right, so just to run through that real quick. Again, we won't do this every time, but just so you guys know, uh, Gamma Comics got A, Cryptic Comics got B, Dimitri got C, Logan Torres got D, and Marcelo got E. Thanks for a fast round. Ready for another round. Round four. Uh, Jason Ovian, you were not first on A. I actually don't even see you in the chat, period, until then. So make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. Maybe refresh your browser. I see, actually, here you are at A, like, probably a full minute after lots of other A's. Yeah, I, I don't see you either, Jason. Moderators, can you confirm uh, where Jason Ovian is? I don't see him. Yeah, I see you 
at least 20 people down on the claim list as having claim day. Yeah, you might okay. want to use... Uh, in slot A, we will have X-Men Alpha Omega, first Dark Beast, two right. very... Select live chat. Select live chat, guys, and you can scroll up and see where your, your comment is. It's not a perfect science, but, you know, that's what we're seeing, guys. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Two very shiny X-Men books, Alpha and Omega, first Dark Beast. Actually, I didn't know that. A Days of Future Past spin-off story, three issues long. Got Wolverine, Psylocke, mm. Magneto. Okay. This is $10 in A. It is also $10 in B. Remember, guys, when you, Mike favorite. when you refresh, it will default back to top chat. So make sure when you refresh, go back and enable live chat. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite oh, series of all time. I love this too. Contest of Champions. If you're not familiar with this, this introduced me to so many superheroes as a kid. It was supposed to come out in the 1984 Olympics, and that's why a lot of the characters in there are very centric to whatever country they're from. Yeah, the uh, number one on it is about a, a, a 6.0. So, so 10 good. bucks for the set of the three issues. So 10, 10, 10. It's a great book. The FF versus the X-Men, very likely to happen at some point in the cinema. $10 for the four issues. And, of course, this will also probably happen in the cinema. The X-Men versus the Avengers. Oh, this is the original X-Men versus the Avengers. Mm -hmm. Not the... Uh, yeah, these are mid-80s. Bloated miniseries or crossover event. And this is 10. So, 10, 10, 10, 10. One, 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 one. That's it. Really easy this round. One of each. They're $10 each. Easy peasy. Fantastic Four versus X Men actually has a sequel series running right now, too, by Chip Zdarsky. As soon as I type in go, have at it. Is it hard for you to reach them when they're um, this far up, Mike? No. Wherever you want them, I will, I'll make it work. So maybe. You know, I can move the table too. Well, I'm just I'm just adjusting for glare, to be honest with you. Okay. Sorry, Terry and Jeanette, you were a little bit too early. Danny Enriquez, we see you. Natalie Hello. Ho got E. Bolo three six eight got D. So E and D are off the board, correct? Correct. Let's see here. E and D. Da, 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 da. Someone needs to read this. Daniel B got B as in boy. <laughs> Lana Espinosa got C. Thank you. <laughs> Azores Tur Tiger got A. Okay, that's, that's the show. And that's it. Thank you for playing. Good night. Round five. Fight. <laughs> that sounded dead on. <laughs> what if? What if the surfer was possessed by an unfriendly uh, little guy? So this is What If 108. This is What If Volume 2, by the way. So it's second appearance of whatever the hell this Carnage Surfer guy is. It's $20. <laughs> okay. Another gorgeous Jim Lee cover. Ah, everybody knows what time it is with this, right? If this story takes place in 1940s where Captain America, the Black Widow, and Wolverine fight a bunch of Nazis. That's a solid VF. Basically, it's awesome. Yeah, there's nothing less awesome than this. It's so cool. Okay, 10 bucks, 10, 20 bucks, 10 bucks. This book, Tim will show you, has a small split on the spine. King size Fantastic Four. Shh, Mike, what's my government name? They call me TiVo. Oh, yeah, just kidding. <laughs> it's $10. Wow. $10, this, of course, is the... Uh, Show the little split. Split very... right. How, long, how far is the split from here? Oh, no, no, no. Right. Oh, just down here at the very yeah. bottom, yeah. yeah. Uh, like an inch. Yeah. Still solid book, though, man. Another one of my favorite covers it's... growing up. Been homaged an awful lot. Captain America Annual 8, Mike Zek cover. Ah. Easy to get a bunch of signatures on that if you want, like, Jim Shooter and uh, Mr. Zek whenever conventions exist again. And another... Really beautiful covers by Mike Zek. It's oh, uh, Deathlock, Deathlock, and flip it over, you get 
So you get 286 and 287. Death of getting smashed on. Beautiful. Um, all right. $20. Look, there's just one of each. $20, $10, $10, $25, $10 gets you two books. Both beautiful. Okay. Have at it. You people have fun whenever Tim says you can play. Just call me the, the glare fluffer. That's my new job. Gla glare fluffer extraordinaire. Next thing you know, I will do a tutorial on how to do uh, claim videos sales. Not a bad idea. Hey, it took us <laughs> four or five weeks to iron it all out. <laughs> Jay, Joe Shimitsu cleaned B as a boy. B Fung got A as an apple. David Trin got C. So B, A, and C are off the board. Looks like Daniel B claimed E. There's only D left, guys. That's Lou Reyes. Javi Slurray has claimed D as in David. Boom. See how fast that is? That's great. Wondering when Array is making an appearance. Okay, dokie. Okay. Javi Slurray, as I was, his name was murdering me the first time we did this. So I was like, no, I'm just going to call you Javi, man. This you seems to make an appearance a, every time we do this, Javi, but I keep hit unearthing it. What's that? So we could try hitting one of the lights. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. Okay. I'll talk while you do. Gotham by Gaslight. Mike Mignola. Batman versus Jack the Ripper. It's a one shot. Story's one and done. It's a great story. It's Magnolia, Mignola art through the whole thing. Ten dollars. Batman fighting some unpleasant aliens. Now leave it on. Yeah, I can deal with the glare. It's better that we have light to see. It's all right. Thanks. It's a three issue prestige. You get all three issues. You got a Joker alien here on the back. It is prestige ten dollars worldwide. That is. Let me show people this cover who haven't seen this. This is pretty cool, man. Kind of. Batman and uh, Predator right there together. And then, because of course I like themes, here's the first Rhino. Is that themed with aliens or Jack the Ripper? Yeah, it's Jack the Ripper Rhino Whoa. aliens. <laughs> first appearance of Rhino. It is 125. Tim will walk you through it. 125. Um, just so you know, since it's a higher price book, Staples are intact. Back cover looks decent. Off-white to cream pages. I can work at CGC. That sounds easy as shit. I uh, see on this side there's some issues, but the cover's intact. It's got some the spine there. Hope you guys can see that I'm doing my best here. So um, I'm going to go with like a conservative uh, 4.0, maybe 4.5. Does that book have a coupon? Someone's asking. For what? Twinkies? I don't think they... You mean like value stamp? It's a Silver Age. They didn't have value stamps in the Silver Age, I don't think. Someone asked in chat. I guess not, guys. No, I mean, the, the value stamp was a Bronze Age thing. This is a Silver Age Spider-Man book. Okay. This part I thought was kind of fun. You got... What if Wolverine fought Conan? Ooh. What if Thor fought Conan? I see a theme. Mm -hmm. My favorite. What I if love Conan this one. Was in the twentieth century. I love this one. Look at that, Conan with a gun. And what if Conan walked the earth today? So if you would have ever known that, what if made actually four different Conan stories? <laughs> there you go. That's all of them. So you get all four of them for twenty-five dollars. So that's the whole set. A couple of these are actually pretty hot. Like this one on eBay is right around 20 25 by itself. So, yeah. Uh, before you ask, uh, near mint was near mint. <laughs> uh, this looks near mint minus. Yeah, all these are, are very, at the very least, VF near mint. So that's a pretty good uh, collection. This one has the best bag, by the way. Oh, shit. As I say that, the haunt. Of Ooh. Yeah. those waiting for EC books. So this is a 1950s book. It does have yeah, some it's... definite chipping on the spine. It's 1950s yeah. pre-code horror. Okay, it's definitely VG minus. It's right 50 there. bucks. The only other ones that are online 
are, you know, there's only two other copies. They're higher grades and they're in the three See, to uh, six hundred dollar range. Guys, do not ask me to take it out of the bag. I don't want to. It's uh, fifty bucks. That's cheap for an EC horror. Exactly. This, this book was published like twenty years before Man Walked on the Moon, so <laughs> it's a little beat up. Yeah. But anyway, it's this book was actually taken to the moon. I'm just kidding. It was <laughs> red. It's, it's a very <laughs> classic haunt of fear. It's all the crypt keepery characters in the corner. I think this is a pretty fun lot. Okay, I'm done. Great on A is near mint. Yeah, it's tough to go lower than near mint on a prestige book. They're just huge. Yeah, as soon as I type in go, claim the letter that you want. Well, uh, wait, harsh, wait till I type in claim and then type in the word claim in the letter that you want. Does it smell like Tang? Ah, Bayou you Boy Entertainment, huh? He remembers Tang was out in outer space. He's just a big Carrot Top fan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in Space Force they'll have it with super duper missiles. That'd be awesome. I'm starting to think uh, he's a huge Star Trek fan. Warp speed, Space Force, and a symbol. I think we're doing really good at how fast we're moving through these. All righty. Let me read through. That was rather fast. I turned my head for one second. Uh, Meeple Mothership got E. Congratulations. I wanted that EC horror book. Moonbase Alpha got B. Vinny P34 claimed A. Greg M claimed C. And da, 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 da. nobody claimed. Let me see. Who got D? I'm still going down the list. Okay. Uh, Vinny P and Greg M, you guys are new, I believe, and we don't have your info. So definitely leave us your email in chat if you can or message it to uh, the big to do What's on Instagram the or something like that. Store number again? The store phone number is 714 730 2117. You could also text us your email that way. 713 yeah, it is uh, how we'll get in touch with you to get this stuff invoiced. So I'm only calling you guys out because I don't recognize your names. Definitely get us your info. Yes, David, we see you. So would anyone like a D before moving on to the next round? D is still available. Don't make Conan cry. Moderators, you can claim if you want on D. Well, David, you claim C like uh, at least you crypto comics beat you um there's like at least 10 other people ahead of you so I, I we do see you you just didn't get it in time sorry so i'm gonna i'm gonna remove this from the board yes nariza r got d thank you same goes for you nariza if you can send us your email either here in chat they or to the phone number posted. Week. did they maybe, maybe they didn't win all right. No, maybe they didn't win. Yeah. So if you're new, please leave your email or uh, text your email to that number there. That's the store number. You can call it or text it. Preferably also, text if you're sending email because I will not answer the phone right now. Uh, it, it's also a party line. So if you want to come and give your age, sex, location, and you can tell us about your problems and woes. Okay. 976 Comics. We've got... Just kidding. Don't call that. A spawn one, it does have a tick here in the spine that does break color. It is like an eighth of an inch tick, but it's $10. Okay. Spawnage. You know you it wouldn't be a live claim sale without some spawn somewhere. What if the Hulk ah, has killed Wolverine? Shiny, shiny, shiny. shiny Beautiful cover. See, and only seven bucks. So this is slab worthy, actually. That's Super nice cover. Definitely slab worthy. Do you like the invaders? Do you know who the invaders are? These are the invaders. You may have the invaders, king size, giant annual, and giant, giant size. size. So it's 20 bucks, gets you the two of them, Cap and Namor punching Nazis in the head. Perfect. Okay? Basically awesome again. All right. This is a set uh, 256, 257, 258. This is, I don't even know what the hell is going on in this storyline yet because I'm. There's apparently two Psylocks now. This is the origin of the new Psylocke, the one that is not Betty Braddock. Her name is Quanan, I believe. She is in the uh, one of the Hickman X. Fall of uh, Fallen, Fallen Angels. Angels. Yeah. These are all, so 256, 257, 258, all in gorgeous condition. And all Jim Lee and all Psylocke. So, I mean, if nothing else, Jim Lee, Psylocke, and the instigator behind it all is the Mandarin. It is cool. Okay. Uh, we got 
Strange Tales featuring Warlock. It is uh, 179, the first oh. appearance of Pip the Troll. Hopefully, it'll be Danny DeVito. Yeah, oh my God, that would be awesome. Because then he'll be a second Pip the Troll because he played Pip the Troll in Hercules. So maybe he can be, uh, you know, we can get Wee Man to play him. If he's uh, so thank you, Nariza. We've got you covered. Okay, okay. All right, just one more time. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, I'll do 10, it. 10, 7, 20, 20. What does that say? 20? 20. 20. So 20 gets you three books though, right? Yeah. Three books here. Two books here. All one right. book, $10. One book, $7. Two book, $20. Three book, $20. One book, $20. All right. So the only multiples is for... None. I have no multiples. All right. Good. Perfect. We like those. As soon as I type in go, y'all go at it and just go straight battle royale with each other. And I'm talking about not wrestling, but I'm talking about the Japanese movie. Last child standing. Finish him. Fight. Fatality. All right. Jeanette Carrillo got B. Astor Walker got D. All right. Let me catch up now. Breezy Ballistic. It's so polite. They said claim to E, please. Wow, thank you for the uh, the please. Yeah. That's the first please of the day. Yeah, I took the time to type out please. I know. Could just been he was like, entered. man, I'm the only one that's going to go for a He's like, uh, He's like, reverse psychology. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Natalie Ho claims C. Looking for an A. We're just looking for an A as an apple. We have an A. Would someone like it? If you have multiple, if you guys already claimed one and you want A, feel free to claim A at this point. Uh, that Spider-Man booth says they heart you, Mike. Oh, thank you. I love being hearted. I am not going to say anything. I guess nobody in chat likes Spawn, Mike. I don't know. I okay. think everybody's bottom already. We saw. I don't, Fair I don't enough. Know. Goodbye to Spawn. We want to really see something crazy. Throw up Youngblood, too. I don't have any. <laughs> All right. X Men 24. You got oh. a Gambit Rogi Kissy cover. We got three of them available. It's five bucks. You got some very 90s action going on here. Yes. Spec Spidey 189. We have four available. It's five bucks. Spider Man 26. We have four available. It's also five bucks. I see a theme. We have a Spider Man 90. That's four available. I, that's it's only, also five bucks. That's the only one I don't have. Uh, this one, believe it or not, is not easy to find. I shit you not. I don't know why, but that's not easy to find. Yeah, this is part of four issues that did this. I do not have any 365s available because of the appearance of 299. The last one over here is actually, these are actually harder to get, believe it or not. These are the second prints with a gold foil Ooh, on them. Oh, now that's something you don't see all the time. Look at that gold. And you get the two of them, and it's 10 bucks. That's wow. five five. All of them are pretty good condition, guys, and that's a cheap price anyway. Somebody said they spent all their spawn money on the Kickstarter. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, did, I bought that, too. Yeah. So, Lord knows we got to support him. You know, he was he was starving. Yeah. All right, so this is how many lot in this? We have three of them three, at five bucks. Five. Four at five. Four at five. Four at five. One at ten. As soon as I type in a go, go ahead and claim the letter that you want. Uh, we see Rosalia. And they're off. Breezy Ballistic claimed E for the gold. Marcelo wow. claimed A. Joe Shimitsu claimed... <laughs> Jesus Christ, it just goes and goes and goes. Bum, bum, bum. All right, hold on. Okay. All right, so I was at Joe Shimitsu with an E. Uh, and then Breezy got oh. the already. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, yeah. So, uh, so Breezy got E. Marcelo got an A. Uh, Moonbase Alpha got a B. Kin Shin claimed A. Boston Chris claimed A newsstand. They're all. Yeah, they're, they're all, all they're all newsstand. Oh so. no, these are right. They're, they're slightly different. Okay, okay. so Boston Chris wants the A newsstand. Okay. Is A off the board? A yeah. is off the board. All right. Uh, Nicholas Pickle claimed D. Uh, let's see where I'm at. You probably open it to multiples on that. No, I I'm still haven't even started reading it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, where was that? But multiple, multiple, uh, 
Uh, Logan Torres says D. Yeah, Nicholas Pickle did a D, right? We already got that one. Logan Torres was after that. David, David Pescada got a D as in David. One more D. Logan Torres also got a D. You pulled that yeah. off already, Mike? Uh, Lana Espinosa, sorry, A is gone. B Fung, da da da, D D D. Uh, Astro Walker got the last D, it looks like. Astro Walker, or B Fung 66, then Astro Walker got a D, and we have B and C left, guys. Oh, you're right, yeah, B Fung got the last D. Yeah, Breezy Ballista claims B and C. How many B's and C's left? I have three C's and two B's. Natalie Hill also claims B and C. Okay, I have one B and two C's. Diablo del Toro claimed B and C as well. I have one C remaining. Moonbay Falso claimed C. Perfect. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. I love the how smart our live chat is. They know arithmetic. Bump, bump, bump. Okie dokie. Got some comics. It's Spider Man 317. It's McFarlane. Oh. He's fighting Venom. $15. Uh, Greg and Vinny, we did just get your text with emails. Thank you very much. Spider Man 328, newsstand, punching the Hulk into space. McFarlane, $10. I'm going to just read the condition of this because this is very hard to get in any high grade because of the blackness on the cover. Okay. But I'm going to say this is a solid near mint minus, my unprofessional opinion. This one's a solid near mint. And I'm going off of Or Street, not what somebody would grade it as. Three forty-five Hulk McFarlane, this ten dollars. This is a VF Plus. Two five eight first appearance of a bear, <laughs> ten dollars. <laughs> you mean Ursa Major? I do mean Ursa Major. I do like the Soviet These are super the hardest soldiers. books for me to estimate grade on because you can't see color white, break on yeah. a white cover, but it, it's a beautiful copy. And Hulk and Surfer, they do not like each other. It is, Ooh. what is it? $10. Uh, $10 for the Incredible Hulk 250 anniversary issue. Nice and clean. See, it even tells you it's a double size collector's. You, that means you have to have it. So 15, 10, 10, 10, 10, one of each. Okay, as soon as I type in glow, have edit. Yes, make sure live chat is enabled, guys. One more time. Make sure live chat is enabled. If you close out the browser, open the browser back up, it'll default back to top chat. If you refresh your browser, it will default back to top chat. That makes Tim a sad panda. Don't make him cry. Don't make me kick Remember my neighbor's when cat. Conan was very sad. Caster Walker, Aster Walker claims A. Team Nerd Herd claims uh, D. Ta -da! Natalie Ho claims E. Ta -da! B Funk 66 claimed to B as in boy. Ta -da! And I think we only have B and C left. Just C. So just C is left. It's got the Hulk. I am going down. I still don't see us. Do you see us? Oh, Javi Slu Reyes got C. Is that correct, Logan? Or Jacob? Uh, yeah. Jesus, it's a ways down hat. Yeah, nobody's playing with C. <laughs> I'm still scrolling. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah Javi, uh, Javi Slu Ray has got C. That's surprising. Okay. Ready? Want some more X-Men? I got him. -da 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 -da. Holy cow. That's the juggernaut. -da 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 -da. -da -da. This is a really clean copy for a Silver Age book. It's got the Juggernaut, second appearance. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, VG Plus maybe fine minus on that. Old X-Men does not like new X-Men. Ah, X-Men 100, classic. This is a VF copy. First appearance, Star Jammers. Ah, this book is hot right now. This is uh, probably fine plus, VF minus. Don't think anyone appears. There they are. But it's still an early issue, and these are always hot. I'm going to give this a VF. Shit, I'm gonna give it a near mint minus actually. This is X Men 1. I'll, I'll read the numbers after he's done. Ooh, this is nah, nah, incredibly nah, nah, nah. high grade X Men. All right, so guys, this is let me, and there's one of each, right? That's it. All right, 
Guys, I'm read the numbers. No more. This is X Men number 13, $80. This is X Men 100, $75. This is X Men 107, 50, 5 0. X Men 108, 40. X Men 112, 35. One letter per claim, guys. So <laughs> make sure you make it count. Star Jammers, aka the best X Men characters. Don't at me. <laughs> I digress. Okay. I was going to say, uh, yeah, I do this show. I like them. They did the new mutants wrong, wrong on the new run though, where they just left them stranded on that planet. Have you been reading it, the new one? Yeah. As soon as I type in go, type in the letter claim and the letter you want, and have at the base villain. Javi Slurey is C. B. Fung sixty six A. Marcelo B. And it went too fast. I don't know how those Reyes brothers got such fast fingers. You guys are fast. <laughs> All right, so C A B C A B C A B D. Everybody's claiming those. So we just have D and E left, right? Oh, D is Roberto Reyes. Got D, I think. We got Wolverine doesn't like himself on E. Uh, looks like our boy Jason Obi in there got E, I think. Okay. Can I confirm that too? Uh, hold on. So. E, E, E. Yep, Jason Ovian got E. Congratulations, everybody. Okay. X Factor. Ah, number oh, one. Run. We got three copies. It is $6. We got the set of the connecting Jim Lee covers. Oh. Uh, Nariza, I see you as 11 people down from having gotten a uh, Audi. Uh, you are right after him or her. Uh, looks like you guys are a little late in it. At least 10 people between you and the top. Yeah, just have you have live chat enabled? Scroll up, you should be able to see it. Make yeah, sure might, live chat is enabled. Might have to refresh and make sure live chat's on. It, it all helps. Also, delete your temporary internet files. Okay. So it's a set. All four covers is $20. Roberto, you did get D. Good job. On this one, we do have five available. Five sets of four different uh, covers for X-Men 1, Jim Lee. Uh, Incredible Hulk versus Wolverine one-shot reprints Hulk 181. Ah, look at that. Very rare double $2 comic. You rarely ever see $2 comics, I will say that. It's uh, 10 bucks for that one. Spider-Man versus Wolverine. It is a one-shot. It is $10. And Witchblade number one. Ah. Gorgeous. Love this, Michael Turner. It is $10. And that is a super clean cover, too. Oh, my God. I want that so bad. I don't think I've ever seen that book in person. Uh, this is such gorgeous. Rest in peace, Michael Turner, man. Oh, man. Just, I mean, not only that, but just the the, the background colors kind of are kind of watercolorish. Water yeah, it's great. There was the, the 90s weren't all bad. There was a lot of good stuff. No, the there. 90s had awesome art, actually. I don't know about stories. Yeah, that's debatable. Uh, Vinny, on that last round, you very narrowly did not win E. Someone beat you by probably like milliseconds. Okay, just to go through it again. Uh, one, a. What's the number again? 7302117? Uh, yes. Yes. We have three copies of A. It is $6. We have five copies of B, which you get all four books that make the Jim Lee connecting cover. It's $20 for the set there. We have one Hulk versus Wolverine for 10, one Hulk, or I'm sorry, Spider-Man Spider -Man versus Wolverine. No one seems to like Wolverine for 10. And uh, uh, Witchblade number one is also 10. Witchblade number one. So that's having go. Clive in the letter that you want. How many cell phones do you have, Tim? I have three. <laughs> I have my work phone, my regular phone, and my burner phone. <laughs> what you might be hearing in the background is Tim's legion of cell phones going off. <laughs> and we're off. Jeff Manning got E. Breezy Ballistic, C. Gabe Sasso, A. Moon Base Alpha B is in boy. Wayne Hare also claimed an A. Do you have Gabe Sassel for the other A, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, so we only have B, A, B, and D left. And Natalie Ho's got a B. Natalie Ho got a B. Thundershock 77 got a B. Shit, there's still more B left, huh? Two more. Okay. Azorus Tiger claimed B. Man. Uh, looks like Bolo three six eight got D. Uh, David Trin got the last A. Here we have one last B to clean the board. I think Azorus. You are, do you have Azorus Tiger already for a B? Yeah. All right. So there's one B left. Let me just read through. How many sets of B were there? Five, I believe. All right, so Moonbase Alpha got to be, Nally Ho got to be, Thundershock 77 got to be, Azorus Tiger got to be. David Pisquetta, it looks like. And David Pisquetta got to be. Is that right. the last B? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, dokie artichokies. Let's give this a go. I thought I'd try something that's a little bit different here. We got. Uh, a lock and key set. Ooh. This is series two, one through six. So if you watch season one on Netflix, this would be the sequel. This is called Head Games. It is all six issues. It'll be what comprises season two. It's $20. Uh, Jason Ovian, payment instructions are leave your email here in chat. Oh, yeah. We forgot to mention that. It's not going to be uh, pay now. It's going to be leave us. We need to have your contact information. You will be sent an invoice via email. When, all, when we're all done. Yeah. And Mass Marvel asked about shipping again, the price of shipping. which It tends to always be right around $4 for like a book. And then it kind of jumps to like we have 4 7 and 12 tends to be where it falls within there, depending on the amount of books you have. The slab is uh, starting at 15 yeah. If uh, we get to some slabs. Are we auctioning slabs today? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. We're going to have some slabs for you later. Auction. I try to I try to keep these things good for you guys. Okay. Um, this one is called Crown and Shadows. It is lock and key. This will be what season three will be. So, so here's basically if you enjoyed lock and key and want to continue, these two sets will get you there. $20, $20. This is Thor 390. This is the issue where Captain America picks up Monier, Monier, picks up the hammer. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. <laughs> meow, meow. Picks up the hammer. It is 10 bucks. We've got Thor, 212, 211, first appearance of the New Warriors, and the Thor's throwing down against the Juggernaut. So, kind of a double whammy there. It's pretty good. <laughs> first appearance of the New Warriors, and the first cameo. Uh, thank you, Jason. We have your email that's now. Cameo, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the 411 uh, for cameo and first appearance of New Warriors. I have an X Men lot coming up. It is 210, 211, 212. Ah. Let me walk you through what this is real quick. This is takes right after a storyline called the Mutant Massacre, where a lot of uh, X Men characters were killed off. Um, the events take place in X Mansion after they've had their butts kicked a bit. This one is uh, John Romita Jr. art. This one is also John Romita Jr. These ones are kind of popular just because of the Wolverine covers. This one is Barry Windsor Smith. And uh, this one is Alan Davis. This one contains a fight between Sabretooth and Psylocke and then Wolverine and Sabretooth. This also is Wolverine, Sabretooth fight and Wolverine, Sabretooth fight. Uh, this set is $25. CT Cook asks so we can pay next week. So the invoices go out on Monday and then, you know, if you need, I'll let Mike you know, answer that. I prefer to make sure that everyone is paid off before we do the other auction. And because, you know, we are only here limited days as far as shipping and operations. If you need a few days after this, that's fine. So basically you'll have till <laughs> next Saturday. I just make sure in communication with yeah. us. I'd prefer yeah, not yeah, to make exactly. it a common thing. If I'd rather. Um, so I mean, typically they're off on Sunday, but then they, they send out every, uh, the invoices on Monday. The sooner you pay, the sooner they get shipped. Put it that way. So, you know, but it, obviously, obviously, if you have issues, then, you know, every case-by-case case basis, right? Yeah, on Monday, you'd be surprised how long it takes just to go through and 
segregate out the wins before we can even invoice. I'm shocked that you're even able to get good shipping service right now because the post office is... We have a very good postman. I was going to say. Shout out to Leonard, our postman. Thank you. Leonard, the postman. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go over to prices one more time. That's Is that 20? Yes. 20 for the set. There's only one. B, 20 for the set. There's only one. C, $10. Only one. Pretty all pretty good grade copies, guys. We aren't dealing with low grade copies here. Twenty dollars for Thor four eleven four twelve. The cameo first man's the New Warriors. That's twenty. Twenty five for this set uh, from two ten, two eleven, two twelve, two thirteen. V up new So twenty free. Woo. Okay. Tess, yes, we see you as noodles. Da -na 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 -na. But do you see yourself? So I'm gonna type in go, claim the letter that you want. Somebody's at the door knocking. Okay. It's a stick up. I think that person's been trying to call, but all right. Nariza R claimed D. J. Rodham claimed C. All right, hold on. Since Jacob is here, let me take time. So D and C are off the board, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Sue claims E. It's a great arc. Just, I don't think you can go wrong with these X-Men. Nope. Just A and B are left. The second and third series of Lock and Key. Yeah, I figured I'd give it a try. I knew it was kind of out of the wheelhouse, but yep. see if people care. And they're making multiple seasons of Lock and Key, so you never know. How many issues in each set? For each one has six, so you're really six breaking issues. It down to, what is that? Six in the twenty. That's it's like three, three bucks. Six times three is eighteen. So yeah, it's like three dollars right and twenty-five cents an issue. Yeah, I mean, this is just for reading. It's hey, there we go. I just sold it. Uh, Daniel B claimed an A. If you want B, you might as well claim it too. Anybody want B? If you want, if you had a claim already and want a multiple. All right, B is available. If anybody wants, contact the big to do, and you okay. can pick that up. Not bad. That's the only. That's I believe that's the first unsold lot. Uh, nope, we had a spawn that no one wanted. Oh, poor spawn. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Um, lot thirteen. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Does anyone get the reference? No. <laughs> No, it's not even uh, first Rogue. Or no, no. I lied. First Rogue joins the X-Men. Uh, Daniel B type claim B. So, Daniel, you want both of those locking keys from last time? You got it. They're yours. Okay. Thank you, sir. It's $10. We have two of them. First Doomsday. There you go. Someone was just asking for some DC earlier, too. We got it. Is anyone asking for Mr. Dread? Uh, I love this cover. Brian Bowen cover, first Judge Dread, ten dollars. Um, you're asking for DC. Let me walk you through this, okay? First Judge Dread in comic form, not uh, uh, his first magazine. appearance as a magazine. I just meant first as an issue. Oh, one. number one. Yeah. So, okay, this book here, um, this came out early '80s. It's the X Men and the Teen Titans team up. These books continually have a problem even when i was growing up to this day every time i get this book i check the interior centerfold because they're always detached okay the interior one on this is i wouldn't play around with it okay <laughs> it, it, uh, it, it is attached but i'm giving you fair warning this is also a super early appearance could be the second appearance of deathstroke you know because this came out right around the times of titans you know the interesting thing about this book, it is signed on the inside in pen by Marv Wolfman and Chris Claremont. Yeah. Okay. Twenty dollars. Signed by Claremont and let our Wolfman. Yeah, and it's drawn by George Perez. No, it's drawn by Walt Simonson. Walt Simonson. Sorry. Okay. Uh, X Force Eleven First Domino. Ten dollars. Okay, so we got. $10, two copies, $10, one copy, $10, one copy, $20, one copy, signed by two people, $10, one copy. So A is the only one with multiples, right? Correct.
threw him off there. I typed in go immediately. Gabe Sasso <laughs> claimed A. Efren Feliciano claims A. So A is off the board. Wayne Hare claims C. Joe Shimitsu claimed D is in David. And that leaves us with B and A. Let me see as I go down. Oh, no, just B and E, I'm sorry. Yeah, B and E. Breaking and entering. Uh, Javi Slurreyes claimed B, I do believe. Yep. And it looks like David Piscotta claimed E. And okay. That's all she wrote, boys and girls. Boop, 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 boop. Lot 14. How many lots do you have? 23. 23. We're uh, a little bit more than halfway there, and then we have an auction as well. So, Superman Surfer, team up, $5. Dark Side Galactus, they don't like each other. They fight, $10. <laughs> Steve Rude cover, Hulk, Superman, don't like each other, $5. Batman likes to team up with people, but the Punisher doesn't like it. Daredevil's okay with it. Captain America's just fine. $15 gets you the set of the three. First crossover between Wolverine and Deadpool. Ah. Ten bucks. Okay. Five, ten, five, fifteen, ten. One of each. Creative Good. teams on most of these are insane, too, you guys. John Byrne wrote B. It looks like, uh, what, George Perez and Ron Lim on Surfer Superman? Is that what that says? Uh, that is Ron Lim, yeah. It is Perez, yeah. Yeah. George Perez and Ron Perez, Lim on yeah, Surfer Superman. John Superman. Byrne, Steve Rude. That's a Byrne cover. Some guy. Adam Kubert. Yeah. And some you know some dude named Deadpool. Bada -bum 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 -bum. Wayne Hare claimed E. Natalie Ho claimed A. Breezy Ballistic claimed B as in boy. Vinny P34 claimed C. B Fung 66. Sorry, you got E too late. Uh so we only have D left, right? Yeah. D's a triple pack of Batman, Marvel, DC crossover. If anybody else wants to claim D, it's wide open to anybody who wants it. Since nobody got it on the first wave. I'll give you guys another 10 seconds here if you want D. You're getting three books, Batman team ups. With with Marvel characters. Marvel characters. Yeah. Good luck seeing that ever happen again. Punisher and Joker. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't oh. ever see a you're never gonna see crossover it. again. Yeah, they'll do it with smaller pro. Oh, Nariza R claimed D. There you go. Awesome, awesome. Well done. Okay, more X Men. This one's got some spine issues. Tim will show you spine. Ooh, more X Men. It's X Men one thirty two. Looks to be about a uh, fine, the fine plus. It's got some spine issues here. It's got the, uh, what do they call it? The dog ear thingy. So that is X-Men 132, $10. X-Men 124, $20. This is a very, this is a solid copy, by the way. VF near mint minus. X-Men, $123, $20. This is gorgeous, actually. I don't see any color breaks on the spine, any spine ticks. I would dare say I would grade that. First Shadow King? First Shadow King, X-Men, $117. This is also a very clean copy. I would definitely get this in my personal collection. That's how I put things. Watch Legion as soon as possible if you like some Shadow King. And here's... They don't Sauron! Like Sauron! This one's probably like a, a VF copy. This is X-Men 115 and all single copies. So we'll read them back to you. Make sure there's no glare. There's a little bit of glare. This one. All right. So we got X-Men 132, $10. X-Men 124, $20. X-Men 123, $20. X-Men 117, 30. X-Men 115, 25. 
If you need to fill your X Men run, this is a great one to have. And David, uh, you've been doing okay, okay with your at the door. Then. Who's that? Don't know. She said, I heard there's a sale. Can I take part of it? Almost need like a curtain. Should say we're filming a snuff film back here. You don't actually. Wanna... We should just put a sign up: "Filming in progress." There you go. You think that'll stop people? <laughs> All right. Astor Walker claimed C. Wayne Hare claimed D. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Astor Walker C. Wayne Hare D. Yep, yep. Breezy Ballistic E. Moonbase Alpha C. And C's already been claimed. Oh, sorry. Uh, so hold on. So C, D, and E already gone, right? Roman yeah. Curtis got B. Okay. And we have one A left, and I think that's Troy Chavis got that. Troy, have you bought from this live claim sale before? Yeah, yeah. He has? Okay. All right. Another uh, easy lot coming up. I think we had a lot of action on this one. <laughs> oh, man, he hit the Powerball. <laughs> he finally he finally won one. How about first Phoenix? Holy cow. Or dark Phoenix. First dark Phoenix. There's where Gene Gray makes the switch. Only a couple of ticks on the spine. If you know, this is very difficult to get in the high grade. Solid, solid VF plus copy. $75. First Phoenix in costume. This one's a VF, $55. That's X-Men 134, 135. It was nice knowing you, Phoenix. Uh, well, she didn't actually die in this issue. No, nah, she's not looking so good. She's not looking so good. I have a feeling she's going to die pretty soon. So this is 136. This is about a VF. Speaking of the devil, the death of Phoenix. This is a really clean copy, by the way. Even with the spine like that. Okay, yeah, 30. Yeah, I'm really sorry if I interrupt you. Uh, near mint minus, VF plus, right around there. X-Men 137. No Phoenix makes Cyclops sad. Okay. Let me adjust. Look at that. Perfect. No glare. All right. X-Men 134, $75. X-Men 135, 55, 55. Five. X-Men 136, $20. X-Men 137. 25. X Men 138. Super sad him, but you could win a shopping spree to Toys R Us so it makes it better. 138. He did not win. $25. <laughs> 75, 55, 20, 25, 25. That was the God side ticket. Uh, One copy of each. But it wasn't. Okay. Okay. It was, okay. Anyway. Yeah, this is this is difficult when you're like only one claim, only going to claim one letter per round. You're like, damn, which one do I get? Yeah. This is a good round. Hey, well, this, A is going to go. It's Sophie's choice, okay? That's all I got to say. Uh, Wayne Hare claimed D. Sorry, Diablo, you were a little early. He claimed a letter and said crap immediately. <laughs> uh, David Trin got B. Okay. Moonbase Alpha C. B Funk 66 got E. And Breeze Ballistic got A. Congratulations. Some beautiful X-Men saying goodbye to me. Bye-bye. But wait, there's more. There is more. I got a story for this one because I like telling stories. This is awesome. This is Alpha Flight 17. This is the same cover ah. that Cockrum did on X-Men 109 where uh, the first appearance of Guardian where he attacked the X-Men this is John Byrne because he came on X-Men later and wanted to draw that. So he did basically an homage cover to that. And this is told from Guardian's point of view when Alpha Flight sent him out. Holy so, shit. I, I I don't know if you noticed this, but you see that? This predates, says after Cochran, or this predates uh, Todd McFarlane never doing it. What does it say? It says Byrne, I can't see. It says Byrne after Cochran, 1977. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but... This is incredibly rare for this era to do this. It says John Byrne after Cockrum. So this is not a swipe. This is an homage. Well, they, they rarely homaged anything yeah. back then. And this it's beautiful because if you're a fan of Byrne X-Men, you need this in your collection. You drop it right in there with X-Men 109, yeah. and you're getting the, 
the story told from Guardians. I of the didn't even know this was there, and I have a copy. I did not see this tiny little thing where John Byrne says after Cochran, 1977. And That's John Byrne cool. draws the entire issue. So if you're an X-Men fan and want Byrne, you need this issue. Yes, you do. Okay. And it's $6. And there's five copies. There's five. Okay. Uh, Brian Boland covers. You got Wonder Woman turning into the Joker. And the Joker, he says, hey, it's time to wake up. You're late for school. Wonder Woman. $10 gets you the set of mm. Bur of uh, Brian Bull and Wonder Ones. Mm, she looks kind of like Mimic or Punchline. Mm. Ah, there you okay. go. Classic uh, Brian Bull and cover. It's $15. Hard to get in a white copy. Okay, there's like two or three Bowen covers that are sought after. There's this one and the one where she's standing on the side with her, her leg up that I made the statue after. Yeah, that one's the... This went like lightning last time. I did find one more. Here it is. It is a Galactus one-shot. It is $10. And then we got a uh, Perez king-size Avengers with Thanos. It is $35. Very, very clean. Who is the first cameo of... Uh, help me out, live chat. Come on. Who is this the first cameo of... Uh, gosh darn it. Gambit? Is it? No. Who is it? Somebody tell me. I'm gonna lose my mind if somebody doesn't tell me. It's a, it's a, it's a first appearance of somebody. I can't. Damn it! It's gonna drive me nuts now. But anyway, hmm. it's a key issue that people were hunting for a while. It's hot because um, it's early and it's Perez and it's uh, Thanos too. But anyway, so we got five copies at six dollars each on A. We get the set, Joker covers, and B. It's ten dollars. The one issue, it's $15, $10, and $35. That Avengers issue is going to kill me if I don't remember it. It's, it's uh, somebody's first. Not Gambit, but I swear to God. Yeah, it's way predates Gambit. Yeah, I'm trying to think who the hell it's a cameo of. Somebody says it's also the first appearance of the Soul Stone. Hmm, that's probable. And we are off. Breezy Ballistic claimed to be. B Fung claimed E. Astro Walker claimed an A. Natalie Ho claimed D. And we only have C and A's left. Boss and Chris claimed an A. I'm really, you guys got to get A. <laughs> yeah. This book's beautiful. I actually reread all of Alpha Flight about uh, half a year ago. It's good stuff. Uh, Kevin Harrison A, C New Money A, Logan Torres A, Roman Curtis A. That's it for A. And Oregon Weem C. Awesome. I do believe that is it. <laughs> Good job, Roman. Stop using your neighbor's dial-up. Oh, this one's going to be one of those lots, eh? Oh, you're killing me, Larry. People like comics. Right, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, here's the dealio. Let me tell you a story about a man named Jude. This is X Men 190 191, another personal favorite story arc. It is two issues long. The X Men and Avengers go to this little portal where, when they cross through the portal, they are in like a medieval time with like the Red Sonia villain. During that time when they cross over, they become like knights and mages and wizards and warriors and stuff, and they all forget who they are and they battle it out. It's, it's a really fun book. It's drawn by um, John Amita Jr. on the inside. It also has Spider-Man in it. Um, and if that's not enough, uh, this 191 is the first appearance of Nimrod, the mm -hmm. leader of the Sentinels. You said Nimrod. I did. But... I think this is a really good run. I think it's fun to read, if nothing else. Okay, we have five copies of that available. It is ten dollars. Yeah, five copies. Let me flip it in this side because I think most people will want the first Nimrod. Sure. Instead of a good read. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. Two two five through two two seven. This is the X Men 
portion of the fall of the mutants. This is when the X-Men were in Australia. The story arc called Fall of the Mutants that went through all the X titles. This is the Uncanny X-Men portion of it. It is $15, gets you the three issues, 225 through 227. We have three copies of that. This is X-Men in Inferno. Ah, one of my favorite stories. 239 through 243. So you get all five issues. It is also the first appearance of the Goblin Queen. Yes, she's hot. Which is Madeline Pryor. So earlier she becomes the Goblin Queen. I'm not sure it's the first appearance of a guy called Nastier. <laughs> but uh, this also has a lot of uh, sim and magic. You know, if you like Ileana in there, you get all five issues is $25. Oops. 241. Look at Madeline Pryor there. Hot. 242. 243. 240. 239. 240. Let's just put this one up. It's got the price on. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's I think, first Goblin Queen there. Uh, you get the set. The Crisis on Infinite Earths. Honestly, another one of my favorite reads. This exposed me to tons of DC characters as they met their demise as Earths got destroyed. And that whiny guy that I watched them all happen in front of him. Yeah, the Psycho Pirate. You got 12 issues in here. It's Marv Wolfman and George Perez. It is $40. You have the death of Supergirl, the death of the Flash, first appearance of the Monitor, the Anti-Monitor, uh, Harbinger, a bunch of knuckleheads. Okay? I can't stick it up on the thing. Maybe we'll balance it like that. Um, Spider-Man 500. J. Scott Campbell cover. It's got a ton of spider villains on it. Mary Jane and Spider-Man. It is $10. Okay, so again, we have Five sets at $10, three sets at $15, four sets at $25, one crisis set, $40. Campbell, 10 bucks. Somebody said nastier, aka Tim. My thank you. <laughs> I think. And we're off. Wayne Hare got a D. Natalie, oh, sorry, too late, Natalie. There's only one D. And that went fast. It's a really fun story. I have uh, Moonbase Alpha got an A. Okay. Marcelo got C. Okay. There's only it. one set. How many sets of C are there? Uh, we have three. Three sets of three C. Remaining. Uh, so Sergio Reyes also got a C. Okay. Tony Sue got the last C. No, there's still one more C. Oh, so there's four? Four total. Okay. So that means La Lon Espinosa got a C. Did you guys get this because it was Inferno or because it was first Goblin Queen? <laughs> got to be a Goblin Queen. Yeah, don't you guys want to read books? Read this story. It's so good. Uh, David Trin claimed E, so E is off the board. Okay. So now we got A and B. Let me see what we got going on. Uh, Daniel B got an A. Okay. And first Nimrod, he's in there too. Daniel B got an A. Da, 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 da. Moon base got an A early on. Too. Yeah, he got an A early on. Logan Torres also got an A. We got two A's down. Uh, Daryl Smith got a B. Okay. All of them mutants. Hold on. Where did I leave off with a... Logan Torres. I left off at Logan Torres. Yeah, so Joe Shimitsu. Logan Torres, A. So Joe Shimitsu also got an A. Jesus. How many A's left? We have two A's uh, and one. two B's. Should be only one A. Okay. okay. Then I have Daryl Smith. You got as a B. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have four so. A's down. Uh, Moonbase Alpha claim B if there's any left. Yep. So we got one B, one A. Efren Fully are Breezy Ballista claimed A. Okay. One B, Fall of the Mutants. One B left. Anybody can claim. Going, 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 going. Uh, let's give it 10 more seconds. Anybody want B? Natalie will claim B. Thanks, Natalie. Switching from some Spidey to some mutants. <laughs> yes, you boss of Chris heard right. That is my eBay. Uh, yes, Roman Curtis, that is what you do, and I have your email here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, guys, so uh, the you will be sent an invoice um, 
after the uh, sale? Normally on Mondays when we get around to sending invoices, it takes us about a full day to process out and put everyone into piles on what they bought. Once they all in piles and then we start reaching out with your information, we will send you a goods and services invoice through PayPal. We will itemize everything in the invoice, including you know your shipping. And then you simply pay the invoice, we pack it up and it's off to you. You can reach us at Comics, Tunes, and Toys, 714-730-2117. The number is in the feed there. Text that phone. It is an iPhone. Or you can reach me. Some people reach out on my Instagram account, which is the big to do, B-I-G-T-A-D-O. That's me. This is the big to do on Instagram. Oh, those are the easiest ways to get a hold of me. Uh, Lot 20's got some magazines, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll get to that one next. Okay. In this lot, this should be a quick quick lot. It's pretty inexpensive. You have the options of Daredevil, 196. It's got Wolverine on it. For the longest time, I thought his claws were coming out the opposite side because it's colored incorrectly. Um, and 197, this is first Mako, Miko, I forget her name. She's the character who later becomes Lady Deathstrike. Mariko. Mariko. $10 gets you the two of them. Okay. Boop, boop. First, Silver Banshee. I actually really like the way that character looks. Very cool. Is John Byrne Art Superman? She looks like Sindel from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> First, Jim Lee on X Men. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Uh, Uncanny Origins Venom. It's a cartoony Venom. I was told it was rare. I didn't really find the. It was going for that much. Looks like the high one's like 15 bucks. It's five bucks. First, Ms. Martian. Five bucks. Ms. Martian. It's a pretty inexpensive lot. 10, 10, 10, 5, 5, one of each. As soon as I type in go, type in the claim and the letter that you want. Okay, that was fast. I was just like, I uh, looked on my phone one second and boom, they're gone. All right, B Fung got A. How many sets of A are there? There's one of anything. Oh, it's only one of everything, right? Yep. All right, so A is off the board. Barizi Ballista got D. C, New Money got C. So E and B left. Uh, let me scroll down. Didn't someone say, why is there no DC stuff? What's the two things that are left up here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Slu Ray has got B. B? Uh, Javi Slu Ray has got B. All right. And E, I think David Pescada got an E. Yeah, I mean. Can't really go wrong for a five dollar first appearance. Thanks, David. Okie dokie, another lot. We're gonna try something a little different. See how it is. First, hey, surprise, surprise. Here's more stuff Mike likes. Love this cover. When I was a kid doing my little art classes, I remember redrawing this cover like five to ten times trying to get it right. You got some Frank Miller Daredevil here versus the Hand, Return of Electra. You get. 189 and 190. Both very, very clean copies. Beautiful covers. Frank Miller, $15 gets you the set. The Haunt of Horror. Number 12. It's Lilith Magazine. Hey, you want me to tell you about some vampires? I got some vampire tales. Ooh. $10 for this. Uh, Lilith is 20. Monsters Unleashed. Ten bucks got the man thing. Doesn't uh, like gators. Awesome. Uh, is what's the uh, shipping on the magazines? I know they're a little tricky to. It should probably be about the same. The same. Yeah. Okay. And hey, you want to fight the Windigo in a magazine? Why not? There he is, Windigo. Maybe he's a Yeti. I don't know. Now he's the Windigo. He used to fight the Hulk. Now he's just causing trouble with these villagers. That's ten dollars. So we got fifteen, twenty, ten, ten, ten. One of each. Oh, I thought that was his wiener. I thought window. I thought the Wolfman had Nards on the Yeti over there. It's the Windigo. 
How many minutes is 30 seconds? That is five minutes. <laughs> I have no idea. That's five minutes. As soon as I type in go, good luck on this great, awesome horror magazine, as well as Frank Miller Daredevil. Diablo del Toro claimed A. There's only one lot of A, right? Only one of everything. B Fung 66E. Wayne Hare claimed C. Breezy Ballistic claimed B. And just D is left. Who claimed D? All right, Tony Vaughn claimed D. Congratulations. And shout out to everybody. 1,000 thumbs up on this video. Thank Ter you. Terry Vaughn. Awesome. Terry Vaughn claimed D. Thank you, guys. I appreciate uh, I'm happy that when we sell through a lot, it, it makes me feel good. that Because I do take time to not only pick this out, because, of course, I want your money in my pocket. But I actually, <laughs> I mean, it's true, right? Let's be honest. Yeah. But I do want you to be happy. I do pick out stuff that I think has purpose and meaning. So Yeah, yeah and I'm not... Uh, being biased, but this is by far the most least or most inexpensive or at least value based online sale on YouTube or Instagram. Yeah, I don't know if, if, I, if I've said this quote a lot. I try to price everything as if I was purchasing it. I don't want to price it at like what, what price would I not pay as a consumer? Yeah. And then speaking of which, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are about 11 away from 4,000. And when we hit 4,000 subs, we're going to do give away some tr killer, killer stuff, man. We're going to give away comics, some free subscriptions to CoverPrice.com. We're probably going to give you uh, some pressing services, some Rocket Comics. We work with a lot of friends and sponsors. So hit that subscribe button as soon as we hit 4,000, uh, which is 11 subs away. We're going to do a killer giveaway, and we'll talk about it next week. And as soon as I say thank you for 1,000 thumbs up, I, we get one thumbs down. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs down as well. Yeah, it's still sh shout outs to the thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Crusher of dreams. Okay. In lot A, we have a series called Rose and Thorn. It is a DC series. Every book in this series has an Adam Hughes cover. There are that was six... that was optioned to be somewhere. Now, okay. I do believe it was either the CW or possibly HBO Max. So there, it, it kind of fell under the news because there was big other news happening, but they are making this into a series. You get all six issues, $20, all Adam Hughes. And okay. Brian Michael Bendis just brought Rose and Thorn into the Legion of Superheroes, too. Um, for anyone who did get that X-Men um, New Mutants set last week that had the, the annual and the special that was Art Adams where they go to Asgard, here is kind of a continuation of that. Paul Smith. Ah, great story. Yeah. X-Men and Alpha Flight and X-Men Alpha Flight, but it does continue in Asgard. I think this is Madeline Pryor, not Jean Grey, but you can see she's got some Phoenix action, Phoenix action going there. It is uh, $10 for the set. Um, okay. Legends. It's a DC set. We have two of them. It is the first appearance of... The modern Suicide Squad, which is kind of what really was the popularity on this, the first appearance of Amanda Walker, but I don't care about any of that. Waller. It's Waller. It's Sorry. Also the first appearance of Brimstone. First appearance of Brimstone. It's the only thing that's really important because he's awesome. Okay. It's 15 bucks. Get you the set. We have two of them available. If you like Infinity, we've had Infinity War and Gauntlet. Here is Infinity Crusade. Crusade the third part of all the Infinity stuff. It is $20. Gets you all six issues. And then if you're like me and you like Ileana Rasputin magic, there is another four issue magic series where she is more the ch character called Demon Child. Ooh. Um, really so four issues that. there. And that is $10. You get this cover. That's gnarly. Oh, you guys have seen this, man. This is pretty gnarly, man. This is her Demon Child, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one set, all Adam Hughes, $20. One set, $10. Two sets, $15. One set, $20. One set, $10. I'm going to force you guys to read comics. Read or die. It's a new government program. Daniel Hernandez claimed A. 
Natalie Hill claimed D, Breezy Ballista claimed E, and it just went too fast. <laughs> All right, so we only have B and C left. That makes things easy as I row you back up. Uh, David Piscata claimed C. No, we have another C still. Okay, there's one more C left. So that means uh, Kevin Harrison got C. Or no, Troy Chavis got C. Okay. So now C is off the board. Come on. Come Diablo, on. nobody's claiming B yet. Did no one read those books you got last week? It's funny. It's just like uh, Indiana Jones, the third. Natalie Hill claims uh, B. You know, that's exactly who I thought should get this. Good job. There you go. It's a great story. The I, I have the uh, uh, trade of it, so it trade it collects all that. I think it was a New Mutants as well, right? The story. Yeah, it was the New Mutants special X Men Annual, and then these ones come later. So what's interesting is Wolf Bane goes to Asgard and falls in love with like another uh, wolf, a, a wolf, yeah. uh, actual wolf or wolf king or something like that. Like a werewolf guy. Okay, how about another set of sets? Is that okay? Good. We got Widowmaker. Is this guy's name Noto, Noto on the back? Jay Still Noto. Jay Lee on the front. You got Hawkeye and Black Widow teaming up. I think it's four issues. Ten bucks. All right? Is that what I got in there? Uh, yes. Yeah, ten dollars. Okay. So Get a you. set of four issues. Another fun read. Ah, I love this. X-Men and the Micronauts. Super awesome. X-Men get shrunk down. I don't know if you guys know about the Micronauts. They're one of my favorite toys, actually, as a kid. Yep. Um, they had a long-running Marvel series. They are now part of IDW. IDW is you know kicking around the idea of having like a uh, part, shared universe. It's part of the Hasbro shared movie universe. Like Transformers, ROM, all that stuff. We have two copies of this. There's four issues each in it. It's $10. The first Gambit series. Fun one. fact, the really only Micronaut to cross over into the 616 was Bug in the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's true. Yes, sir. You know, because he was not part of the toy line, too. That's right. Yeah. So uh, Bug Gambit. would not fit in with the Micronaut toys. <laughs> one through four. $10. Uh, this story is an X-Men story. It is five parts long. Some beautiful painted covers. I thought people would like it because of Psylocke being prominent in it. It takes place in Britain with her brother, Captain uh -huh. Britain. Um, Psylocke's arc, Die by the Sword, $10. That's gorgeous cover right there. And too. another kind of hard to get set for Psylocke fans. Ooh, Crimson I Dawn. remember this. It's uh, Psylocke and Angel had a romantic um, interlude. And I guess so. I mean, they, they were a romantic couple for a while. This is a four issue series with. You know, featuring them. So and this is fifteen dollars. So we have ten dollars one set, ten dollars two sets, ten dollars, ten dollars, fifteen. The only one that we have two of is the Micronauts. That Micronaut story is great. You guys don't even understand a certain time in the eighties and nineties, X Men if you put an X-Men cameo appearance in a comic book, it just made it automatically made it hot. This is super cool too, because this is like my favorite version of Storm, Mohawk Storm. This yeah. it tells you exactly you can tell by this cover when this took place. This is right around X Men in the one eighties, you know. It's and look at the blonde chick. Look, at, she looks like a Farrah Fawcett on the on oh, the letterbox. Yeah, her <laughs> name was Mar her name was Marion Nett. God damn, why do I remember that? Well, this is Kitty Pride when she was Sprite. You know, oh, this is good stuff. Now the Micronauts run was was really good, especially when Butch Geis was working on it. Well, and Michael Golden did a Michael ton Golden, of them too. Yeah, yeah. If, you, a lot of art. If, you, if you like good art, check out some early Michael yeah, Golden. Micronauts is really good. Art. Michael Golden, by the way, the same one who drew. Uh, Avengers Annual 10, if you've, if you've ever looked through there and like Rogue. Sergio Reyes, A. Moonbase Alpha, B. Breezy Ballistic, E. And, and also Natalie Ho, B. Uh, B is off the board now. Natalie Ho, you're going to need a second job. Uh, Daniel B. claimed D. Uh, okay, never mind. And we only have C left. No, no Gamma left, huh? Hold on. There are some C's. Let me scroll up. Okay. But either way, C's gone. Yeah, okay. C's gone. All right. Good job, guys. And thank C you, you. is... Hold on. I saw it. Uh, Vinny P34, right? Guys, you'll be happy to know that we made we it all you, the Vinny. way through to round 23, our final round before... Well, I actually have... Uh... 
one little sub thing and then uh, some slabs if you guys want slabs. <laughs> I don't think they want slabs. No, no slabs today? Aww. I think the moderators are like, yes, we do. Okay, peeps. Here we go. Finishing with the sets. We've got from Marvel's the most recent Marvels, not the old Speaking ones. Speaking of Phil Noto. Chewbacca, one through five. Gets you the full set. Ten dollars. Chewy action. I'm now, sure there's... prior to Chewy getting his medal in the uh, Rise of Skywalker, this comic has him getting talking about his medal. Basically, Chewbacca says, Wookiees don't care about medals. We're warriors. So that's why he said he didn't give a care about his medal. Actually, he gave his medal. Don't give away the story. <laughs> he gave his medal to this uh, girl in the comic. So there you go. If you ever think you thought it was uh, in the last, uh, who was it, Rise of Skywalker? What's the name of the alien chick? Uh, the one that was uh, force sensitive. Uh, Nepita, uh, what's her name, played her? Remember, she was uh, the weird little alien. She gave the lightsaber to Ray. Oh, the little oh, yeah. big eyed thing. Yeah, well, Betty somehow White? she Mas had she had a medal and she gave it to Chewie at the end of Rise of Skywalker. Miles Kanata, yeah, Miles Kanata. Are you sure and, it's not Betty White? <laughs> in this comic, Chewie actually gave his medal to that girl. He says, We're warriors, we don't care about medals. And it's drawn by Phil Noto, so it's beautiful. Yes. I don't know anything about this, but it's got like a Darth Maul guy on it, no. and it's a five issue set. Of five issues, so it's ten bucks. Legacy War, Star Wars stuff. Okay, yeah, all Star Wars comics right now are hot. This ah, character, my again, another knucklehead from the '80s that I love. Matter of fact, he's even from the '70s. He actually first appeared in Deadly Hands of Kung Fu magazine. Believe it or not, this cosmic character, Jack of Hearts. It's a four-issue run. Really impossible costume to draw. Five, it's five Sur bucks. Surprisingly good read, too. It's a very somber story. We have three sets of that. Five bucks. It's the only thing we have multiples up here. Um, a Cap Wolverine story. Four issues, Cap and Wolverine teaming up. It's only five bucks, so you're paying $1.25 an issue. And then, um, I don't know if you knew in the 90s, when this came out, X-Force, they came polybagged with a trading card in the back. This is all five polybagged all five trading cards. You know, the Deadpool card was the one that was kind of sought after. So you get all five books, all still polybagged, all with the card for $10. Mm -hmm. Got the Deadpool card right there, y'all. So set of five? Yeah, for 10 bucks. So you're paying two bucks each. You got Chewy for 10, this guy for 10, Jack of Hearts for five. We have three. Cap and Wolvie, five bucks. And X-Force is $10. And then... Um, Little mini thing, and then uh, the the slabs. Sergio Reyes A, Natalie Ho E. E is off the board. A is off the board. C is Kevin Harrison. There's one more C. Oh, there's one more C. Oh, oh, I took a D. I'm sorry. Uh, so Kevin Harrison and Boston Chris Comics both get C. So one more C. Uh, Efren claimed a B. I'm glad you guys like these sets. Okay, some B is off the board. Just C and D left. Let's see. Logan Torres claimed a C. Someone want to buy caps? We can get onto some slabs. Uh, Andrew, there's only D left. Anybody can claim D. Where's Natalie? Anybody want to claim D? It's wide open. Going once. Nope, twice. Breezy Ballistic claim D. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks, Breezy. All right, what are we doing now? Um, all right, hold on a sec. So, a buddy of mine gave me these books, and I said I will put them on there, and I forgot to put them in a lot, so I'm... Just doing them as a courtesy here. I guess it can be a lot E and D. It's the it actually doesn't matter, it's the same book. Um, hey, if we didn't do one of these every single live sale, what would we be? Two mint copies. It's, we have one, you know, so it's forty-five dollars. There's two available. First punchline. Uh, they just have to type in the claim the letter E if they want it. Yeah. 40 and they're how much? 45. 
Forty-five dollars, guys. Man from Bean Town claimed E and Bandito ten seventy seven claimed D. That was fast. Thank you. Okay. Um, so literally the only thing that we did not sell during this whole thing is a spawn. Is that true? Uh, I think the Conan thing, right? Or did someone claim? Someone claimed the Conan. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anybody want to spawn one? I'll make you a deal. First person to claim this can have it. Just type in the word claim. Just type in the word claim and it's free. It's yours. That's it. All you got to do is say claim. All right. Well, Bayou Boy Entertainment claimed it. Okay. Wasn't that fun? That was kind of fun, right? All right. Man from Beantown, if you haven't bought anything yet, uh, leave your email address here. And uh, what they're going to, Mike and Jacob will. Um, they're going to email you an invoice on Monday or Tuesday. Let's start with this. Uh, all right. First of all, this oh, is yeah. uh, auction. Okay. So this is to last man standing, going once, going twice, sold. Uh, if you uh, stop bidding, please type in fold, last man standing. And mods can bid on auctions. Man from Beantown, you can send it to uh, the big to-do on Instagram. And this is his IG. You can send your uh, your email on Instagram. If you don't feel comfortable in leaving your email address here, that's totally understandable. Uh, the big to do on Instagram, or you can hit up me on Instagram. You guys don't know how to get a hold of me. So and there you go. Before we get into this too, just to call out a couple people whose info I'm not certain we have. Uh, I don't think we have Bandito. Why don't you? I'm going to use the restroom. So. Uh, I'm not sure we have uh, James Watson. Uh Kin Shin, Cryptic Comics, Handle that uh, Dimitri Theodoratus, if you're still in. I think you guys, I think we need your info, you guys. So definitely leave it in chat or uh, call the store at 714-730-2117. Send it to Mike on Instagram at the big to do, B-I-G-T-A-D-O, Facebook at uh, Comics Tunes and Toys, Twitter at Comics Tunes and Toys, whatever works for you. Let us know in the comments and stuff, or when you do reach out to us, what kind of stuff you like. I mean, certain people, if you know, people ask for things all the time. We don't necessarily have it where we are in a pandemic and shut down. So I'm literally trying to you know find resources that we already got. But I thought the sets would be something kind of fun. I didn't want to make it one heavy theme or another. I wanted everyone that's there for whatever reason you're there for to have stuff available to you. Um, I will talk about this while Tim is indisposed so the way the you can uh sorry to interrupt you mike rob uh, roberta you can text to that number yes i believe you already did though i i think we have your email so the cgc books we do as an auction tim will auction you through it and last man standing what we have is a uh, we're going to start off with this it is a rise zero first appearance of bloodshot it is signed by who was that again? That was Bob Layton. Nine eight white pages. Grimming white cover there. Um what else was I gonna say about that? Oops. But, I'm gonna walk right in front of the camera. So. Okay. There we go. So we'll start off with this, huh? Hold on. Let me uh zoom in. So you get up close since can eliminate glare now. You guys know my YouTube. I'm kind of ain't all about glare as I do my video on how to record without showing glare. Didn't you talk to somebody about that, Mike, about the Punisher? Uh, so this, it, it just looks kind of a fun fact. Um, Jim Shooter needed to draw this cover. He asked Mike Zek. This is actually the silhouette version from a uh, Marvel Universe that Mike Zek drew. It is literally the Punisher from that book on this book, just as a silhouette with a red dot in the middle. So this is the first appearance of Rye as well as Bloodshot, if you didn't know. What's the starting bid? $10. $10. Have at it. And it is the matte cover. This is the matte cover, which is the more rare of the two. 75 Denariza R, right out of the boat. Boom. Underbids will be deleted, guys, if you see your bid being deleted. Thanks, James. Someone wants to see the label close up. Okay. Couldn't hurt. I don't know how well I'll be able to pick it up on camera. Uh, Ancient Mariner at 85. But basically it says signed by Bob Layton, and it says matte version right there on the label. 
first appearance of Bloodshot, Origin, a first appearance of New Rai, Harbinger, and Solar appearance. This was signed by Bob Layton on 2-15-2020. I do believe that was North Texas Con. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, David Pesquetta at $87. Let's try and keep it in $5 increments. Yes, $5 increments would be much easier. Somebody wants to bid 90 to get us to a $5 mark. That's fine. Let's just do that. And we'll round out. Yeah. David Pescada is the high bid. Ooh, Jamie Roybal at 125. That'll scare him off. The matted version is the more rare of the two. Which means it's just kind of it's a flat white as opposed to the shiny cover. So Jamie Roybal, the high bid at 125. David Pesquetta and at 130. We have a bidding war. Bam, 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 bam. 150 to Jamie Royal. I like the way he bids. He's like, uh-uh. That's how you power move right there. Yep. Ancient Mariner Folds, David Pesquetta. 160 to Kevin Risalo. David Pesquetta folds. David Ray Salo is high bid at 160. One seventy five to Jamie Roybal. Yeah, you know what? I saw Bloodshot. It wasn't so bad. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like awesome, but it was definitely entertaining. I mean, it was better than Dark Phoenix, that's for sure. Kevin Reese solo fold. So high bid is the Jamie Roybal at 175. David Biscotta folds. Jake and I think I think we have a high bidder at Jamie Roybal now. It looks like all the other bidders are folded. So going once to Jamie Roybal. Going once. Going once to Jamie Roybal. Going once. Going twice to Jamie Roybal. Going twice. Going twice to Jamie Sobo or Jamie Robo going twice. So to Jamie Robo for 175 and it's $15 shipping, Jamie. They will send you an invoice. Do you have Jamie's information? I haven't we seen him. Huh? We don't. All right, Jamie, it's, please it's make Jamie. sure you uh I know who Jamie is. Yeah. Oh, you know? Yeah. Okay. Are you a local customer to Tunes and Toys? All right. Make sure you sub up King of the Golden State, the moderator with the mostest right there in the live chat. Same with JLS Comics. He just did a great video on the history of Nova. Oh, duh. It's like Jamie's Blue Sky Comics. I was like, yeah. I was like that Jamie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what I expect is, to see that. I'm like, what does Jamie know that we don't know? Mm -hmm. All right. How about uh, Young Avengers Jamie, director's I I, cut? I, I didn't know your last name, Jamie. I mean, how the hell was I supposed to know? Nine eight white pages. It is the director's cut, uh, as he mentioned. But just to enforce it, director's cut. This is the director's cut. First pro comic work of Alan Heinberg. Twenty five pages of material. It says director's cut edition right on it. The first appearance of the Young Avengers. You know who all that is and why it's hot. We don't have to explain to you. How about ten dollars? Starting bid ten dollars. They have at it. Fifty dollars a breezy ballistic. Outside of the uh, Wizard World, this is the other copy to get. Right. The regular cover is doesn't the so basically this is like in between. It has like an all color cover, and then it goes with this one, starting with the white background, and then the uh, L the LA Comic Con cover is all black and white. Wasn't there like a a nine four something weird from like um, nine point five from Wizard? Yeah, yeah. Wizard used to make a nine point five. I don't know for if this they, right. I don't know. I've never seen one. I've, I've seen what you're talking about, but I don't know if they did for this one or not. There was a weird red label nine point five. Hated Kurogaji at the 115. Where are you at, Jamie? Come on. Bid on it so we can well, see it in the next. Wrong. So we can see it at the next uh, live claim sale on Instagram for Blue Sky Comics. Did you see how many copies of, Blue, of Youngblood 2 Jamie has? Yeah. Good Lord. 
That guy's got a good color Xerox or somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he's got a 3D printer and he's just uh, making uh, Young Blood number twos. You know what? You sh uh, he said almost that 9.5 red label. I would buy it because they're super rare. Sure, you'd never find it. Yeah, they don't make them anymore. I mean, that that's was a unicorn out there. Very limited time that you can buy them. It's an odd thing to get a 9.5, but it's equivalent of what a 9.8, I believe, right? I guess. I mean, it's like it only existed through that mail order. Yeah, David Muscata, high bid. Or no, sorry, Nicholas, Nicholas Pickle. Sorry, David, you came in a little bit late. Nicholas Pickle, high bid at 120. Alejandro says he know where one is. Well, tell me, partner. I'll go get it. Hated cure. Hated. Yeah, whatever. Hated is at 125. Some of you on your fancy Instagram or YouTube handles. What's worse? And you know what? No, YouTube names are not even as bad as Instagram names. That's the thing, too. It's like when you always talk to me, you're like, hey, do you know James? Well, James who? What's his name? Oh, it's, you know. Double backflip H57. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know double backflip. <laughs> Underscore. Does that, uh, all right. Davis Fold, David Folds, Nicholas Fold. So hated, uh, hated Kuro G is high bid at 125. Going once to hate it for 125. I don't think we've seen any mods bid on anything yet. Yeah, What's moderators, you are free. Feel free to bid. I'm sorry if I, th I thought I said earlier, but if you guys want to bid on any of these, uh, is it feel just free. Nemesis and, and King? Uh, JLS Comics and King of the Golden State. JLS Comics. Yeah, he didn't want anything. Else, so. No, I just want to. I got to remember this. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. King of the Golden State has been there since early. Yeah, I think Nemesis Prime popped in and out for a minute. But King of the Golden State once again, hard, working hard for the money. I got something for you, King. All right, uh, going twice to hated. Going twice to hated. Going twice to hated. Yeah, and so. Sold to hated for one twenty five plus fifteen dollars shipping. Uh, do you have haters email? No. Hated. We'll need your email address as well. Uh, please leave it in the live chat so you can email you an invoice for this. James, do you want to see what I got you? Uh oh. King you want to see James? King of the Old State got himself a toy. I got you a prize for you, James. Whoa! Does that make you happy? He says he's busy changing his name to Double Backflip. <laughs> Not for auction, it's just for James. Wow, that's nice. Congratulations, yeah. James. King of the Golden State. Look at that. It says, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> How many times did he sign it? Well, he he, he homaged himself. No, Breezy Ballistic, this isn't a for upper bid. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. So he homaged himself, right? So he said after himself, and then he signed it. So, Well, his. I'm surprised his signature isn't a more, uh, how do I say, uh, counterfeited it's so easy all righty this guy how about first black cat oh damn i want this eight five white pages black cat signed by al milgram does tim count as a moderator no <laughs> all right i bid and i won mm -hmm. It's like going three times. Old. And starting bid, uh, it doesn't matter. I guess yeah, whatever. already bid 100. Bucks, 105, the David Maloney, 130. Who's the signed by? Al Milgram. Al Milgram. Al Milgram. 130, right. high bid to Project Collectibles. Got one more book after this, and that's it. Well, uh, high bid is now Ancient Mariner, 175. Phantom Hunter, 88 at 200. I still have my uh, copy signed by Kevin Smith. Why do you sign it? Because at that, remember when he was writing that black hat? Okay. Yeah. And he was at a store doing a signing, and I just happened to have one. You're not not gonna have him sign your samurai sword when you run into yeah. him, are you? I'm <laughs> right into Randy Jackson at the if, airport. Yeah. And when you I run into Randy, Randy Kevin Jackson, Kevin Smith at the restaurant, I just left him alone. <laughs> Kevin Reesello at 220. This one he was doing that evil, men evil. The men that evil do or some shit that uh, black cat miniseries that oh, Kevin yeah, Smith yeah. is doing, so that's why I the dots on the one, yeah. Kevin Ray Salo at 220. Could kill him right back, Ancient Mariner. The auction's not over. It's a hot book, only gonna come to Spidey Ver Sunny Spider Verse because they are so many characters that they can do to help out Spider Man. There's not enough, there's no way black cat doesn't happen, yeah. Well, she already rumored to happen with Silver Sable, and then the the director of the Silver Sable film comes out and says, yeah, it'll probably end up on Disney+. Plus." 
Yeah, so that, that ran that that ran the uh, speculation 